Prince Harry and Meghan miss Festival of Remembrance after sending message from US. Prince Harry and Meghan missed the Festival of Remembrance on Saturday evening after sending a message from the US. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex recorded a new video message that appears to have been filmed in California, where the Sussexes have resided with their children, Archie and Lilibet, since 2020. The royals, who stepped back from official duties over four years ago, spoke in a video on Thursday about protecting the most vulnerable in our world against the threat of digital violence and harm, a cause the couple is passionate about. Although the royals both wore dark blazers with poppy pins fastened on their lapels, there was no mention of the Festival of Remembrance or Remembrance Sunday. Hello viewers, please remember to subscribe and click on the notifications bell icon, so you will be notified whenever we upload new cookies about the British royal family. Harry, 40, and Meghan, 43, did not attend the annual Festival of Remembrance in the UK last night and will not join the rest of the Royal Family for Remembrance Sunday at the Cenotaph. When they were working royals, they sat at the back of the Royal Box, far from the senior Royal Family members, which was seen as a snub by some Royal fans. The late Queen Elizabeth, Prince Charles, and the then Duke and Duchess of Cambridge sat far in front of the now California-based couple in 2019. The Princess of Wales attended the Festival of Remembrance last night alongside her husband, Prince William, and is believed to be returning to official royal duties after temporarily stepping back for eight months after she announced her cancer diagnosis in March. It was Princess Kate's first major public event since she announced she had completed her chemotherapy treatment in September. The Prince and Princess of Wales watched the event from the royal box alongside the King and Princess Royal. Queen Camilla was absent from the event after announcing earlier this week that she was battling a chest infection. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's fractured relationship with the royal family has resulted in fewer in-person visits back to the UK for the Duke and Duchess. Their video message was played at the inaugural Global Ministerial Conference on Violence Against Children in Colombia, with Harry opening their address. He said, we are at a crossroads where the urgency to reassess and redefine our approach to protecting children, has become increasingly evident. While the necessity has always been apparent, it is now time to translate that awareness into meaningful action. Harry and Meghan launched the Parents Network, an online campaign to tackle harm caused to children online, in August this year. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle savaged as Brand Sussex fails to show unity. Exclusive, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Global Sussex brand felt confusing to the public for one key reason, says expert. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were criticized by a PR expert as their Global Sussex brand failed to show one unified narrative which in turn resulted in it being confusing to the public. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have dominated headlines recently after a series of solo appearances by both of them in recent months. Despite their latest joint video appearance this week, Harry and Meghan have been largely promoting their own causes and interests, in what's been dubbed a new strategy for the couple. Now, asked about whether the Sussex brand succeeded in reaching its full potential when the couple promoted it together, PR expert Renee Smith, had one thing to say. Ms. Smith, who is the founder and director of PR and creative branding agency The Atticism, claimed that their brand faced challenges due to the couple's differing interests and that their new business approach could potentially work in their favour. She told Express.co.uk, I think their decision to pursue individual brands could indeed work in their favour over the long term, although it's bound to spark a fair amount of public speculation in the short term. From a PR perspective, this shift might allow each of them to create distinct brands that better reflect their different priorities and resonate more coherently with their individual audiences. The expert added on the Sussex brand's success, the Sussex brand has certainly faced challenges in maintaining both momentum, and a cohesive identity. A big part of this difficulty likely stems from their differing interests which don't naturally mesh into one unified Sussex narrative. Prince Harry set to return to UK amid his and Meghan Markle's broken royal family relationship. 
Prince Harry is set to return to the UK more frequently in the coming years, according to a source. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down as working members of the royal family in 2020. Since then the couple's relationship with the firm has deteriorated. Harry and Meghan no longer have a base in the UK after being evicted from Frogmore Cottage in 2023. The Sussexes' eviction from the royal residence followed the publication of Prince Harry's controversial memoir Spare which heavily criticised several senior royals. However, a royal insider has claimed that Harry will travel to the UK more frequently in the coming years. They told the Mail, we can expect to see more of Harry back in Britain in years to come. Prince Harry has returned to the UK several times a year with his most recent trip coming in September to attend the Well Child Awards in London. The engagement marked the Duke of Sussex's fourth trip to the UK in 2024 with others coming in February, May, and August. Harry made multiple trips to the UK last year with the most notable one coming at King Charles's coronation in May. However, Meghan Markle has opted not to return to the UK since Queen Elizabeth II's funeral in September 2022. In July this year, Harry told ITV that he would not be bringing Meghan back to the UK due to fears over her safety. He said, it's still dangerous, and all it takes is one lone actor, whether it's a knife or acid, whatever it is, and these are things that are of genuine concern for me. It's one of the reasons why I won't bring my wife back to this country. It now seems Harry and Meghan have decided Portugal is the best place to live in Europe. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have purchased a holiday home in Portugal which will most likely be their European base instead of an alternative UK residence to Frogmore Cottage. Prince Harry's secret heartache behind UK exit following huge sacrifice for Meghan. The Duke made a huge sacrifice to step away from life as a senior royal with his wife Meghan Markle, royal sources claim. Prince Harry was forced to give away a major part of his life to protect his family when he stepped down as a senior royal, sources previously claimed. When the Duke and his wife Meghan Markle decided to step back from frontline royal duties in 2020, it marked the beginning of a major shift from the duty and scrutiny of the firm to the relative calm and obscurity of life in the US. Harry, King Charles' youngest son, made it patently clear that the pressures of royal life didn't sit well with him in his bombshell memoir spare, but royal sources said changing his relationship with the royal family would have brought a painful sacrifice for him the loss of his military titles and appointments. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.